This is the do-it-yourself drone starter kit from Radio Shack, available in your Radio Shack dealers and online. With this starter kit, it includes all of the parts that you need to build your very own drone. If you do not have all of the tools for this, then they are available as a package, as you can see here. You will need soldering iron and solder, some cutters, some small screwdrivers, and some AAA batteries. Now let's go ahead and open up this starter kit and see what all we have inside. Have your instruction manual. I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to put everything together. For this we're going to pull our parts list out and we're going to check and make sure we have everything. We do have our motors here. Uh, screws. Some suspension pads. A red LED. A charging cable. Our propellers. And you have two red and two black for those. And we have four white and green LEDs. Four more propellers for the opposite side. Our main PCB, which has a lot of the small components already attached. and then our other set of motors and this will be our control, our remote control and the body of the drone As seen here, you do have some basic information in your instruction manual for some habits that are good to have and best procedures and tactics and things like that. You also have these LEDs that will need to be, on, be installed first. And you see they have the measurements for each one of the leads. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and measure these leads and bend them accordingly. So that way there's no room for error. First we're going to do the red LED, which needs to be 7 millimeters. So we're going to take this and we're going to measure out to the 7 millimeter mark, which will be right here. And we're going to just go ahead and bend up this, this lead at that. We're also going to do 12 millimeters for each of the white green LEDs. Okay, And there we are. We're going to bend these at 90 degree angles. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for all of the rest of the leads. Alright, and that's what your LED is going to look like when you're done. If you notice, one of these leads is longer than the other one. That longer lead is going to be your positive LED lead. And that positive lead is going to go on the plus side on your board. I'm going to get this board out and show that to you real quick before I prep the rest of these LEDs. If you look, you'll be able to see the positive and negative on each one of these LEDs here, or the LED mounts. and you look in your manual and you'll actually see that as well you have a positive lead as well as a negative lead so be sure to hook those up properly or they will not work and we're going to bend 
this LED at 12 millimeters. And there we go. And there we are. You can see your short and long leads there as well. All right. And as you can see here, I've put that first LED in the hole, making sure to line up the positive, the longer side, with the positive marking on the board. And next, we're going to take our soldering iron. We're going to bring it in at a 45 degree angle. And we're going to heat up this pad. And we're just going to feed a little bit of solder to it. And we're going to do the same for the next one. Heat it up and feed the solder into it. And there we go. Now we're going to do this for the other four LEDs, making sure that you make note of the positive and negative sides for each one of those LEDs. Right, and once we get all four of them in on this side, making sure that they're in the right polarization. And we're going to go ahead and flip it over to the other side. And we're going to make sure that that, uh, make sure we do each one of the leads on the other side if the solder did not go through. And there we are. We've got all, both sides of all of the LEDs installed. Now continuing to look on this side, we have our motor mounts right here for each one. Each one's marked M1 and M2, also plus and minus. Your black wires are going to be minus. Plus wires are going to be either white or red, depending on which one that you're working with. This, for instance, is motor 1 has the red and black and we're going to go ahead and see so you don't even have to cut the wires you already have them ready and uh, we're going to go ahead and solder these in place Alrighty, and now we're going to connect our battery and then assemble the body. And we're going to make sure we line up the switch with the square side and the circular charge port with the round side. And we're going to take these LEDs here and we're going to carefully bend them around the edge of these uh, 
posts that are in here. should be able to push it right down in place. You also want to place your motors. And run their wires. Be sure that you clip your leads off as well. See how long they are? So we're going to want to clip those off as well. Alrighty. And so I've got these in position. Now that all the wires are trimmed, everything's there. All I've got to do is screw it down. The battery sits underneath of it. And the connector sits up beside the power switch here. For your motor wires, you want to take, and you'll see the little slot right there that you want to run the wires through just like so and then you're going to want to push down on the motor to put it in place. Since we're doing this in the bottom side you want to have the motor sticking up like this okay. and then all that's left is to run your wires once you put all of your motors in, you run your wires in the, uh, in the little grooves that are here and tuck them out of the way Make sure all of your LEDs are around the posts, and then you can screw it together. Alright, we've got all the wires in place. Now we just need to put our screws in, snap the top of the case down, and then we've got screws that all need to be put in for those. We'll put our pads in, our suspension pads in, and then all we'll need to do is charge the battery and be ready to go. put this on make sure that your red LED matches up with where that little lump is right there a little hump I'll just snap everything together screw it down there we go and see we got the hump for the LED right here one for the charge port there we are we've got our suspension pads in and what you want to do is make sure that you use the correct propeller for each side. These have a letter B by them. These have a letter A. So that way you can make out which ones are what. Just look at the casing and be sure to use the correct propeller for each one. These are my A propellers. And I'm just going to have those be red. You can have them all be red if you want to. Have them all be black if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Now, we just need to make sure the power switch is off on the drone. We're going to plug it in, let it charge for 45 minutes, and then we'll be back. Alrighty, and here we have our completed drone and the remote control. Be sure to put your batteries in your remote control. We're about ready for our maiden voyage. So, let's go over here and find your power switch. You'll see it right on the side. We're going to flip this on you'll see your lights start flashing. You're going to flip your controller on and if you have not paired it already you'll push up and down on your controller. Now you see your lights have come on over here. It means you're ready to fly. And when you first start out you're going to want to go slow. You'll need to adjust the trim on your controller. If it goes wants to fly backwards, you'll push the up arrow on this side. If it wants to go forwards, you push the down arrow on this side. Likewise, with the other side, if you if it wants to go left, you'll push the down arrow. If it wants to go right, you'll push the up arrow. And you'll hear a little beep each time you go and push this. All right, now, when you do first start off, 
like I said, go slow with it. See, mine wants to fly a little backwards and a little to the left. So what I want to do is I want to go and push up and then push down. And just keep playing with your trim until you find a, a spot that looks like it works the best for you. Alrighty, and here we go. So there you are. Uh, you have your working Radio Shack drone, and we'll tweak this and get the trim working a little bit better. And it's, this is also capable of stunts, which you can play with on your own time. We hope you enjoyed the video.